So on my channel, I've done various different reviews on cybersecurity boot camps and different courses. And in today's video, we'll be discussing Level Effect, which is a 14 week cyber defense analyst program taught by former NSA analysts and cybersecurity experts. The cyber defense analyst program has more than 350 hours of content, including hands-on projects, four weeks hands-on working within a real virtual SOC simulation or a security operations center. What really sets apart this program from others is really around how the instructors are teaching this course. For example, during a live course, the instructor will detonate a piece of malware on your workstation and then you'll have to work on your own or in a group to figure out how to triage it, follow all the incident response steps in a playbook, and then finally prepare a final report of your findings and then present it to the class. This, I don't think, is something that I heard of in any other bootcamp or program that I've seen. And trust me, I've reviewed a lot of them. It really does take hands-on learning into a whole nother level. Plus, it was also endorsed by John Hammond, who is an awesome cybersecurity resource on YouTube. What also makes this course really special is the fact that the course itself is taught by its creators and co-founders who have combined more than 40 years of experience as former NSA professionals and seniors in cybersecurity working in IT, consulting, pen testing, and engineering roles. Plus, not to mention that they have five-star reviews on both course reports and switch up. I also want to specifically mention that this course it's meant for beginners. So here are the steps to become a cyber defense analyst. Thank you to Level Effect for sponsoring today's video. First up is to complete the free prerequisites on Level Effect on IT fundamentals, cybersecurity fundamentals, and compliance fundamentals. This is a total of 64 labs, 38 lectures, and three assessments, including optional challenges. Again, I want to mention that these prerequisite courses are completely free. You can create a free account to review the material, to complete the labs, to take the assessments, plus the instructors will be around on Discord for anyone who may need help going through the prerequisites. This also comes with 15 free hours of virtual machines in their cyber range and totals into about 25 to 50 hours of course content depending on your skill and experience level. Essentially, these are the prerequisites to get into their cyber defense analyst program so that you'll be fully prepared with those foundations. And the best thing is that it's free, so there's no harm in just trying it out and seeing what skills that you can learn and what you can get out of the material. Plus, not to mention that it may be one of your first times ever using a cyber range, so it really is a great learning experience for beginners. Personally, I think these prerequisite courses will be useful to anyone who is interested in cybersecurity. In the free IT fundamentals course, you'll cover Windows operating systems, Linux operating systems, networking, and then finally an IT fundamentals assessment. In the cybersecurity fundamentals course, you'll be covering the high level cybersecurity industry, cryptography, security logging, cyber threat intelligence, and then the cybersecurity fundamentals assessment when you complete this prerequisite. And then the third and final prerequisite is the compliance fundamentals curriculum. This will cover governance, risk, and compliance, or GRC, which also includes things like asset management, configuration management, vulnerability scanning and triaging, Windows server hardening, and two other labs and challenges before completing the final assessment. All right, so at this point, you've completed all of the free prerequisites to finally begin the cyber defense analyst program with, again, more than 350 hours worth of content. So this is definitely going to be a lot of information thrown at you, but again, I really do think that because it focuses specifically on the practical skills that you'll be using in a real world job as a cyber defense analyst, as an SOC analyst, it's a really great way to dive deeper into cybersecurity and learn more of those intermediate to advanced concepts that you may not typically get in a beginner level course. The topics covered over the span of the 12 week program include network traffic analysis, email security, windows and point triage, dynamic and static binary triage, event and log analysis, adversary tactics, cyber threat intelligence, incident response, incident detection, and then finally, four weeks within a virtual SOC, responding to and resolving alerts from EDR or endpoint detection and response, antiviruses, intrusion detection tools, and working through outline playbooks to resolve them. So this really is a full-on simulation as if you are working as a real SOC or defensive security analyst, someone who is receiving alerts, receiving threats, receiving any suspicious logs or anomalies, and then following a step-by-step -step playbook for what you're supposed to do when you see them in different scenarios that you'll come across. This really is what you'll be doing on the job and essentially gives you four weeks of practice experience that most people typically wouldn't get before getting their first job within a security operations center. Once you've completed all the course material, you'll then earn your cyber defense analyst graduate badge and then get two attempts to take the cyber defense certified professional exam or the CDCP. The exam itself is one week long and has no multiple choice. It is entirely practical. So this also means that you'll get a lot of hands-on experience. Nowadays, I find that exams that are more practical based rather than multiple choice make a lot more sense in determining how useful your skills will actually be when you get into the job. For example, a multiple choice question about cryptography is very high level and not that helpful compared to a certification that requires you to encrypt or decrypt information, files, databases, in which case you'll get that real hands-on experience that you can also then talk about
about during future interviews, as well as, of course, transferable skills into other projects that you'll do. In the exam, you'll work through five challenges based on the competencies developed in the Cyber Defense Analyst Program and then deliver a total of five reports. Each report is manually graded by the instructors to validate your skills, and students that demonstrate the most competency will earn the gold CDCP badge. And this specifically only qualifies in your first attempt at the exam. The Cyber Defense Analyst course is built on top of the NIST NICE KSATs, and the playbooks that students use to resolve tickets is built off of the NIST Cybersecurity Incident Handling Guide Phases, which include preparation, detection and analysis, containment, eradication, recovery, and post-incident activity. Throughout the course, you'll be continuously given individual and group-based challenges, where you'll also get a chance to work with others on a team while creating analyst technical reports, which include an executive summary, your findings, your technical analysis, and remediation and prevention strategies. The live classes are going to be similar to live triaging scenarios in preparation for the virtual SOC. For example, you'll show up to class and the course instructor will detonate malware on your workstation. You'll then be able to have a chance to work on your own or in a group to be able to triage, write your report and then come back to the class to present your findings to the instructor as well as of course receive feedback. As part of the Cyber Defense Analyst Program, you'll also get lifelong access and updates as they improve the course over time. For example, the Virtual SOC or Security Operations Center is a new feature of this program, but this was something that was highly requested by students that is now available to current students and of course previous alumni. So what are the outcomes of the program? You'll find many alumni testimonials on their site, but their graduates go on to get hired at Rapid7, SOC Prime, Boeing, Tavora, NetSpy, Caterpillar, Huntress, CloudStrike, the NSA, Booz Allen Hamilton, and more. As you can see, a lot of these companies are specifically focused on cybersecurity, so that really goes to show how hands-on that this program is, considering just the types of companies that are hiring their alumni. Because of the program's ability to really help you dig deeper into the technical concepts through their unique hands-on training and labs. I personally met with one of the founders and they are highly passionate about what they're doing into bringing more cybersecurity professionals into the field since this is one of the areas in tech that really does need the most growth and to enroll in the program you'll be talking directly with a course instructor and founder it is not going to be a sales call or a pitch it is really meant to get an idea of where you are in your cybersecurity career your aptitude and what your overall career goals are all right so now that you have all of this information how much does the course cost the entire course for the cyber defense analyst program and the hands-on training labs virtual soc experience is five thousand dollars and can be financed interest-free for up to 12 months. Level Effect also offers one free scholarship per cohort to the public and two free scholarships to the VetSec Slack community. They also offer partial scholarships to those not selected and a $500 tuition discount for veterans. All right, so hopefully this gave you all the information you needed to get an idea of what the Level Effect program is, how it can prepare you for a job in cybersecurity, as well as the skills that you'll be covering within the entire 12-week program. Plus, of course, the free prerequisite courses that you can take. If you're interested in enrolling in the Level Effect Cyber Defense Analyst Program, you can sign up to learn more using the link in my bio. And while this video is sponsored, I really tried my best to give an honest review, but I really do think it's worthwhile to check out, especially considering it's at half the price of a typical cybersecurity bootcamp or program. Let me know if you guys have any other questions I can help answer, and if there are any other video topics or programs you would like me to review, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!